Hey Scorpio, and welcome to your general love reading for March 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Scorpio. And because it's general, it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading with me, and you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it's a general reading. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on with you in the first couple weeks of March? For the situation, we have the Three of Swords crossed by the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so there is some, some pain here. Um, I'm actually seeing this Page of Pentacles, even though it is in the challenge position, I feel like there are steps that are that are being taken. I feel like there is something that you are meant to learn from this pain. Um, if this is you, it could be them. We'll see, we'll see more when we clarify. For your energy, we have the Tower, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely a very, um, it's an intense, intense period, let's put it that way. It's a very intense time period for you because something is happening and I feel like whatever it is that's happening, it's a little bit unexpected and it could feel like, you know what, this is just not working, whatever it is, and it just feels like something that you had been working towards or building that it's just kind of maybe all been for nothing, that kind of a feeling. Um, especially in terms of a commitment with somebody. That's how I'm seeing this King of Pentacles as being actually the other person. It, for some of you, it could be you. Um, there could be a, some kind of a tower moment that you are experiencing in terms of your own self um, taking on the role as as being in a committed relationship or as being possibly even a provider. Okay, that's going to be for some of you. Whatever that is though, whatever it is that um, is happening for you, know that you are healing. Okay, that's why I love that we have the Four of Swords at the end here. This is something that you are being able to recover from. Let's see for another person here. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Three of Wands. Okay, so we do have Capricorn um, showing up here. So this person is working towards something. There's something that they are trying to... I'm getting create. There's something that they're trying to create, but it's more of trying to like organize it, more of trying to set something up to, to happen. But there's a lot of fear attached to that. So we'll see. Again, we'll see when we clarify. I don't know, this, this reading is feeling very interesting, actually. Very interesting, but it could go in many different ways, so I'm just going to wait until we clarify. For the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so that's some kind of action here taken passionately. Movement. Movement forward. Let's see, let's get to clarifying this. Figure this out. All right, so Three of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. All right, the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. All right, I feel like we ha we're having quite a bit of Earth energy um, showing up in your reading. So some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign, definitely doesn't have to be. Um, but we do have Taurus, all right, specifically showing up. We also have both the Queen and the King of Pentacles, and actually the King of Pentacles is showing up twice, and that's what I'm saying. So definitely let me know if you're dealing with an earth sign. I would like to know. Um, okay, so yeah, there's heartbreak here. There's pain here that somebody is dealing with, and the challenge is to actually explore this pain and figure out what it is that you are meant to learn, and I feel like and it doesn't have to be you, it could be the other person. Whatever it is that is meant to be learned here, this person is kind of having a hard time with that. It's kind of like 
the more that whoever this is is not learning the lesson, not taking that lesson or not taking a particular sign from the universe, like the more pain that it creates. And this is just showing up very, very strongly that it has to do with commitment and it has to do with um, a connection here that feels like it could have a very, very strong foundation. It's a connection that could have a lot of long-term potential and stability. But there's something here that, yeah, this person is having a hard time possibly fully grasping this lesson of, okay, you know, um, I'm getting that there has to be like this equal um, participation in terms of energy given in the material world. Like it can't just be um, being lovey-dovey, for example, when we're together. It's more of, yeah, okay, but on a practical level, you know, we both need to give to this. I feel like for, for someone here, it could be that that they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed in terms of responsibility. Something along those lines. Let's see that tower for you. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands, which is also in their energy. Okay, so for some of you, this tower might be related to actually having gained um, clarity in terms of this is just taking forever. Um, and it could be that this is, you know, something that's really harsh for you to accept because this was not something that you expected. It, it's giving me the sense of constantly waiting and waiting and waiting for something. And that doesn't mean that you're not with this person. You could very well be with this person and still be waiting for something to like materialize that isn't. So I feel like there's just this, there's been this discernment on your end or this kind of like this decision that, hey, you know what? I feel like I'm going to be waiting forever. And that's creating a tower moment. Let's see the King of Pentacles. The Four of Swords showing up again for you and the Two of Swords. Okay, so what you're doing here is I feel like you're healing. You're healing from the pain of what you're realizing, that tower, right? Which is that, you know, this person might not be exactly as committed as you would have wanted them to be by, by now or is not giving, is not providing enough on a practical level as you would have wanted them to by now. So it's something that you don't like, right? With that two of swords, it's like you might not agree with it. This is not something that you wanted to see happen, um, but but you you are healing from that. Let's see the four of swords. The Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you still love this person, but you're pretty much accepting the disappointment. Like, you know what? This is just what it is. It is what it is. I can't change it. That's what you're moving towards. But before you get to that point, though, you are experiencing this tower. So knowing what this tower is leading up to, it might help to make this tower a little bit more bearable um, for you. Hopefully. Kind of hard, because <laughs> when you're experiencing something, you're experiencing it. It doesn't matter if you know what, what it's leading to. It's like at that moment, it can feel really, really intense. So all I can say is just be patient with yourself. All right, but let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person, though. So for the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Cups. They're a little confused here. I feel like they are putting in effort, they're, but they're putting in effort that doesn't really yield the, the results that would be needed in order for this connection to really come together and to really, you know, take it that one step further. 
Um, it could be that this person is just really distracted here by different things as well. That's not to excuse them though. It's more of possibly them actually distracting their own self um, because I feel like it's painful for them as well. All right, and that's why we have the devil here. Let's see the devil. Why is the devil here? The four of pentacles and the three of cups. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to say this. And this, again, it might not resonate for, for every single one of you, even if the rest of the reading was resonating. This might just be for some of you. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who is pretty much wanting to keep their options open, not because they don't have emotions for you, not because they don't love you, not because they don't want this commitment, because I do get that this is, like I said, one of those um, connections where there is this potential of being long term. Kind of similar to cancer by the way i think it's similar to cancer's reading um but th this person just wants to have their options open but i feel like that's not it's not coming from a place of alignment though that's not really what they want i feel like it's on the surface and that's what these distractions are um, almost like they're distracting themselves with other ideas or with their own ideas, their own conceptions. It's kind of hard to explain exactly what I'm, what I'm getting here, but it's something along those lines that this person, um, because they, on some level, even if it's just subconsciously, they're afraid of not having options. They choose to distract themselves with I don't know, it could be work, it could be with anything, it could be with video games, whatever, in order to avoid um, investing more time and more energy on a practical level in this commitment. Because they know that once they do so, that, you know, it's just, that's going to get the ball rolling towards a long-term commitment. And I feel like that scares them. Um, let's see the three of wands because I do feel like, I mean this, I, I feel like this person does have potential though. This person does have potential for that. I do see them putting in some energy. That's the thing with that seven of pentacles. It's like they're putting some energy, but just enough, you know, like not going all the way with that page of swords. So because there is that part of them that does want it on a deeper level, they are planting some seeds, but then distracting themselves so that they don't get the full result and then, you know, have to be, have to feel committed 100%. Let's see the three of wands. The tower and the magician. Wow. Yeah. See, there's going to be a shift here. So whereas you're recovering from that tower, right when you're recovering from that tower, they're experiencing their own tower. And that could be because the energy will shift. So like the more that you recover from your tower and you heal this and you, and you accept, you know, that this person just is the way that they are. And then you can choose to do, you know, what you want. Um, that affects them energetically because then your you, you know your energy is not going to be like giving all this energy to them, right? So that's when this person is actually going to experience their tower, and I feel like that their tower is going to throw them into this manifestation mode, right? With the magician to really start making something happen, taking bigger steps, doing something rather than just being like this page in that seven of pentacles. And really what it's doing is it's forcing them to really think about the future with that three of wands. To think about, okay, where is it that I really want to go here? What is it that I really want to do? What do I want out of this? You know, kind of like stop beating around the bush. All right, so let's see that knight of wands. Three 
Three of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio. Um, yeah, I feel like this person just has to really go through this um, cycle, basically. They have to go through this phase that's going to follow the tower where, you know, they're, once they figure out what it is that they want, um, it's going to create pain for them. It's going to create pain because I feel like you're, by that time, you know, you still have love for them. You definitely will still have love and emotions for them. But your energy will be a little bit different and they're going to experience this pain. But it's that pain that's going to make them see things from a different perspective, especially concerning that beating around the bush, that seven of pentacles showing up again. I'm getting that, you know, there for the time being, there might be a little bit of fluctuation on their end, but there it's definitely some kind of movement. Taking action. Because I feel like right now they're just going around in circles. Especially with that devil. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> this is definitely one of those connections that... Whew, it's intense. It's definitely intense. So it's really your call how you want to handle it and what you want to do in the end. But I feel like, you know, I mean, this is just a very short time span here. So this is just the phase that might you might encounter during this time period. All right, so Scorpio, final message for you. We have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Yeah, like I said, it's intense. It's intense, but these emotions are also running high for this person. And when they're they're going to be calming down for you, they're going to be escalating for this other person until there this there's this peak, right? And then ultimately seeing things from a different perspective in terms of the cycles that they have been repeating and the going around in circles bit. Forcing them to take some kind of action. In a, I feel like it's going to be very passionate and in a very different direction here from what they've been doing. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.